If you gave me the option between a salmon burger and a beef burger and you gave me this salmon burger, I would choose this one every time. Welcome to Season That Ish, everybody. Today, we are going to be making some awesome salmon burgers. And these are really special because I make them with fresh salmon. Now, I know there are a lot of recipes out there that call for canned salmon, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. If you can afford the fresh salmon, please get that instead. It's going to make such a difference in how your salmon comes out. It's going to be a lot more juicy and delicious. And I'm telling you, like, please, please, please get the fresh kind. Y'all, I am willing to say this with my whole chest. This is going to be one of the best salmon burgers that you have ever had, period. 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 You wanna chop your salmon up into small pieces and then start prepping your vegetables. Y'all, tell me why I had to re-record my voiceover because it was some birds in the background chirping. Isn't that wild? They're disrespectful. Um, anyway, so I am chopping up some green peppers, some red bell peppers, some green onion, and I'm also going to be adding in some thyme and some lemon juice. Now the next thing I'm going to do is squeeze in some fresh lemon juice. Lemon juice always goes in seafood. It always brings out the awesome flavor of salmon. So then I'm going to add in the vegetables that we just chopped up and adding in some thyme to bring even more flavor out of the dish. Now while y'all are preparing for the amount of seasoning that I'm about to drop into this thing, I want you to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and make sure that you leave a comment if you have anything to say. So I'm adding in some parsley and then on top of the parsley, I'm going to be adding in some garlic powder, some onion powder. I feel like I always use garlic powder and onion powder. They're like the main girls that are in everything. Who are you? Who are we? We are that bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm using a little bit of ginger and some paprika. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Dijon mustard. If you watched my other salmon video, um, my honey glazed salmon, I talked about how I always add in a little book of Dijon mustard just to give, um, just to add some flavor in the background of the fish. Now, if y'all make that sound when you add in your little bit of Dijon mustard, you get bonus points. And I promise your salmon burger is going to taste a lot better. Just make the noise. It's going to add in some flavor. I promise you. So the next thing that I added was some Goya Sazon seafood seasoning. Now, this is key. That's a really good seafood seasoning. And then I added in some breadcrumbs. Now, with the breadcrumbs, you got to be careful because we do not want your salmon burger to be majority breadcrumbs. I hate, hate, hate when I go to a restaurant and order crab cakes or a salmon burger or something like that and it's majority breadcrumbs and like none of the seafood. So add in a little bit of breadcrumbs. Exact measurements will be down in the description box. You're gonna mix around all of your seasonings and also you're going to add an egg to combine and make sure that the salmon burger sticks together and you're going to leave that overnight for all of that delicious flavor to marry. 24 hours later. So the next day I went ahead and I started forming my patties i just used a regular spoon to try to get them around the same size and i actually did a little experiment in this video because i wanted to see um how much of the breadcrumbs you actually need so i could give you the perfect recipe so that you can get salmon patties that stick together and don't fall apart but also um, to have as much salmon in it as possible and as little breadcrumb as possible. So I was trying to find that perfect ratio um, of salmon to breadcrumbs. So for some of the salmon burgers, I added in um, more breadcrumbs on the outer crust. And for some of them, I didn't add as much. And you guys are going to see what happens with the different patties that I put different amounts of breadcrumbs on. So I just put a little bit of oil in my pan and I got them to sizzling. So I started off with high heat just to get a crust on the outside of the salmon burger and to help it stick together. And then I lowered the heat a little bit so that the salmon could cook through. When I flip this patty, you're gonna see that the outside got really crispy and crusty 
um, and the salmon patty held together very very well but with the second batch that I didn't put as many breadcrumbs in it's a lot less dark and the patties are kind of crumbling a little bit so what I would say for next time for you guys making it at home is when you make your patties don't put as many breadcrumbs in the salmon because you want as much salmon as possible but you should totally put um, a little bit more breadcrumbs on the outside of the burger itself so that it can form a crust and hold together now these are holding together pretty okay but not as well as the first batch that I made and yeah I definitely ate that little piece that just fell off but now that all of our salmon burgers are done one of the most most important parts of this is actually making the sauce that goes on the salmon burger so far I've added in some mayo, some cayenne pepper, and some black pepper. I'm adding in some salt and some chipotle ranch dressing. Now I know that sounds like, sounds like a weird combination but I promise you it is a fire combo. I added in some parsley and some of that Dijon mustard, that boop of Dijon mustard. Make sure you make the sound so that it tastes good and some lemon juice. I tasted it to make sure that everything was tasting right and then I decided that I wanted to add in some more salt and some more cayenne pepper. Now I'm adding in my lemon again to tie everything together and I'm telling you this sauce is so bomb like the burger by itself is good but in combination with this oh my gosh you have to try it now when it comes to building the burger I decided to use mixed greens and add my sauce at the bottom and in the, the top of the bun um, because I feel like any other kind of greens like arugula um, would overpower the salmon and and then lettuce I just feel like is too bland so we're using some mixed greens today putting your salmon burger on top adding your sauce and boom there goes your finished product y'all this was so good I made five of these and all five were gone within the hour so I really hope you try these out if you're trying to you know cut down on the amount of beef that you're eating or if you just want to try something different these salmon burgers are really really good so let me know if you try it in the comments and i'll see you next time